That's the sound of the real estate market screeching to a halt. Okay, maybe not a halt, but the summer market slowdowns here. It's slow, very slow. A beautiful weekend, it equates to dead open houses. Serious buyers could possibly scoop up some great deals right now. Sellers, it's a beauty contest and a price war. Plus, you may need to be a little like a fine wine. Selling, it could just take some time. In this video, we're gonna go over the single family condo markets in the state of Massachusetts. We're also gonna do a quick interest rate update. Plus, we're gonna talk about some relevant current events. Hey, it's Jeff Chubb. I'm a recovering investment banker turned real estate agent. I've sold more than a thousand houses. If you have any questions in regards to the real estate market, then no, I'm here to help. Buyers beware, because you're going to have to start paying buyer agency fees. If you don't want to be on the hook for paying two and a half to three percent when buying a house, then take a look at our purchase power plan. In this plan, buyers pay for our services by the hour instead of a percentage of the purchase price. This can save home buyers possibly tens of thousands of dollars. Reach out if you're looking to buy a house and want to save, well, maybe a small fortune in fees. Let's jump into the single family market stat. We have now hit the inventory leveling off summer trend. Inventory, it's gonna to continue to bounce up and down from now until the end of August, then plummet for the Labor Day weekend, and then start growing all over again in the fall. We now have 5,075 single family homes on the market in the state of Massachusetts. This means we now have 0.4% more houses on the market today than just 28 days ago. We now have 1,315 more houses on the market when compared to the same week last year, but we're still 453 houses short of levels that we saw back in 2022. Buyers, 1,315 more homes on the market today is amazing news. There are some good buying opportunities out there. This week, we listed 1,025 single family homes in the state of Massachusetts. This is 131 units or 4.7% more homes than the same week back in 2023. Now, four week rolling average is 1,000 units right on the nose. This week, we put 993 single family homes under agreement. This is eight units or 0.8% lower than the same week last year. We put 985 houses under agreement. That four week rolling average is 961 units. So when compared to last year's market, new listings, they were up by 15% while under agreements were up by only 0.8%. The pending to new listing ratio plummeted which we knew was going to happen. The 84.1% is compared to the 97.9% .9 that we saw this week last year. Week after week, we've seen our pending new listing ratio below the same week last year. This means that this year's market is weaker than last year's. There were 781 single family homes that closed last week for an average sales price of $875,000 and a median sales price of $705,000. Sales levels compared to the same week last year were up by 53 units or 7.3% as there were 728 single family homes that sold this week last year for an average sales price of $798,000. Now, months of inventory, this is how we determine what type of market we're in, zero to five months. That's considered a seller's market. The closer you get to zero, the more aggressive of a seller's market that it is. This week, months of inventory pulled back to 1.81 months from last week's 1.88 months to 1.81 months. This week is compared to 1.38 months this week last year. Real quick, it's my shameless plug. I just wanted to mention that if you are thinking about buying or selling a home, then it would be a true pleasure to help you. Now onto the condo market. We now have 2,785 condos on the market as of Monday. This means that there is 4.7% less inventory than market today than compared to the inventory levels of just 28 days ago. We now have 571 more units on the market than today compared to today last year, 13 more compared to the inventory levels of 2022, and 41 more units than in 2021. There are 441 condos that came on the market last week with that four-week rolling average of 413 units. The 441 units listed was 35 units or 8.6% more than the 406 condos that came on the market this week back in 2023. As expected, under agreements jumped this week. This week, we put 427 units under agreement. Now, this 427 condo sales was 17 units or 4.2% more than last year when we put 410 condos under agreement. That four-week rolling average for under agreements, that's 375 units. So 8.6% more listings that came on the market when compared to this week last year while selling 4.2% more condos. The condo pending to new listing ratio fell to 76.3%. We knew this big fall was gonna happen, again, just like the single family market, but this is compared to the 76.4% that we saw this time last year. That's a pretty close to an identical market as last year, the condo market. There were 296 condos that sold this week for an average sales price of $824,000 and a median sales price of $623,000. This same week last year, there were 320 condos that sold. So sales levels, they were up by 7.5%. 
months of inventory. This actually decreased to 2.18 months from last week's 2.27 months. This is compared to the months of inventory levels of 1.73 months this week last year. Hey, just you can do me a huge favor. Can you hit that like button right down there? Believe it or not, it just makes a huge difference for me and the channel. It's just placed by YouTube algorithm. And while subscribing, if you haven't done that one, that could help the channel as well. So if you're liking the content, I appreciate you maybe possibly slamming that subscribe button. Time to talk about interest rates. The mortgage market gave some of the decreases that we saw last week back, sadly, but it's not the end of the world. I think they're going to be give and take until September, but rates, they're in the high 6% range. This is great news for home buyers. Rates are down and buyers right now can find some great values and properties that are on the market. Now, I want to tell you a recent story about a home seller and buyers, listen up. And then let's talk about some of the lessons to the pool from this story. Now, a seller lists their property for $899,900. Before the weekend starts, they get an offer for $935,000. No inspections and an appraisal gap coverage as well. It was a phenomenal offer. The sellers chose to not accept it as they wanted to see what would happen with that weekend activity. They had a couple showings in an open house with 14 groups that attended. Monday came around, no offers. Went back to the initial buyer and well, they'd gone under agreement on another house, which by the way, they warned the seller about that they had a good number two option. There were two other parties that had some interest that first week, but neither actually ended up coming to the table with an offer. Two weeks go by, and they received an offer for $860,000. That $860,000 offer had an inspection contingency in it as well. The seller countered at $870,000. They said, hey, we'll include the pool table. The buyers, they backed out and withdrew their offer. They have now reduced their price to $875,000 and the house is still on the market today. I tell this story because it's a sign of the current market. It's slowed. Sellers need to be aware of this and make decisions knowing that the market dynamics have changed with the summer season. Sellers also need to start the process with their objections. What's their goal? What are the specifics that they're looking to accomplish? If an offer achieves these objectives and more, then a seller in this market needs to seriously consider accepting that offer and fight the temptation of maybe there's more. Having an experienced agent in these market conditions matter more than ever. Want to talk about your own personal real estate needs again is Chef Chubb. Whether you're looking to buy or sell a house in the next nine or 90 days then I would love to chat with you and just find out a little bit more about your real estate goals. And if you know of anyone that's thinking about buying or selling a home, then I truly appreciate you keeping me in mind and passing along my contact information. You can visit us at youtuberealestateagent.com or find all my contact information in the description below right down there. Until next time.